Hey folks, Mr. Math Blog here, and this is uh, problem solving, uh, comparing uh, problems with fractions. Uh, this will be lesson 8.5. Our common core strand is uh, stated there. So our essential question is how can we use a strategy? We're going to use the strategy drawing a diagram. We're going to be drawing a, a bar model. I'll show you that. We'll use that throughout this lesson uh, to solve uh, comparison problems with fractions. So, so let's access some prior knowledge. So I've done one of these before in one of the other lessons. Write 4 times 6 as the sum, as a sum in two ways. Okay, well, 4 times 6 is, um, well, you know it's equal to 24, but it's also equal to 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6, this many times right here, 4 times. Okay, 6 plus 6 is 12. 12 plus 6 is 18. 18 plus 6 is 24. And then you can add 4 together uh, 6 times, and you'll get 24 also. Okay, so uh, we're going to use this. Um, uh, it, this comparison problem with multiplication problems above and we're going to show another solution using the bar model so here's an example I'm going to use the same numbers up here 4 and 6 right here so and then we're going to use uh, this how to use a with the bar model okay so uh, there there are six pencils in Mrs. Peralta's desk there are four times as many pens as pencils in her desk how many pencils are in the desk? Okay, well, we already know the answer is 4 times 6 above right there, but, but the bar model is um, uh, this method, you guys. You're going you're gonna to do, um, uh, they like doing squares uh, for the, you know, the, the, the pins in this case. And then so since there's uh, uh, 4 times as many pencils, then there's going to be 4 squares for the number of pins. Okay, because there's 4 times as many, I'm sorry, 4 times as many pins as pencils in her desk. Okay? All right, so I'm actually uh, pencils. Sorry, there's four times as many pencils as pens in the desk. Okay, anyway, so uh, anyway, so right here there's a uh, four times six, and four times six gets us 24. So that's the method we're going to be using right here on how to do bar models in in this uh, lesson here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So uh, the deepest part of the Grand Canyon is about one and one sixth miles deep. The deepest part in the ocean is almost six miles as deep as the deepest part of the Grand Canyon. Boy, I didn't realize that until I read this. Uh, about how many? Uh, about how deep is the deepest part of the ocean? Okay, well, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, what information do we need to use? We need to find out uh, how deep uh, the deepest part of the ocean is. Okay, and what information do I need to use? The deepest part of the uh, Grand Canyon is about one and one sixth miles deep, and the deepest part about the in the ocean is about six times as deep as that. So one and one sixth, and six goes in those spots right there. Okay, so uh, how are we going to use this information? We can draw the diagram. We're going to draw a bar uh, model on this. We'll draw a diagram to compare the depth length. So let's go ahead and solve the problem going to draw a bar model to compare the depths of the deepest part of the Grand Canyon and the ocean. Okay, so here's the Grand Canyon right here. It's one and one six miles deep. Okay, and um, and I did, it said there was, it was six times as many. So I did six of these um, same little squares right here that represents six times as many. And this M is going to be uh, miles deep, how deep the ocean is. Okay, so uh, we're going to go ahead and put the one and one six in all of those because it's six of those. All right, so I'm going to write an equation and solve that. So M is the deepest part of the ocean in miles. Okay, and then so here we go. So we're going to go ahead and write um, uh, right here. M is going to be 6 times the 1 and 1, 6. That's what's going to be right here. So it says write an equation. So we're going to write down uh, 6 times 1 and 1, 6. And actually, that's called an expression, but uh, we'll talk about that later when I see you guys later on in algebra class. Maybe, if you guys stay with me. I have all the lessons in algebra also. All right, and then this just says, uh, write this as a mixed uh, uh, number right here. So write this mixed number as a fraction. So I'm going to go 6 times 1 is 6, and then add this 1 is 7. So this is 7, 6. So I'm going to go ahead and just exchange that for 7, 6 right there. And then we're going to go ahead and multiply. So I just multiply 6 times the numerator. 6 times 7 is 42, and you keep the denominator, 42, 6, okay? And then uh, we're going to write this uh, fraction as a whole number. 6 goes into 42, 7. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and answer the question right here. The question is, so the deepest part of the ocean is about 7 miles deep. Okay, so the, ba the main thing I wanted you to recognize is this is called the bar model right here. And we're going to do this on, on all of them. Uh, and I noticed I was looking at your your uh, your uh, textbook questions. They had similar of these. Okay.
Okay, so uh, Sulisa needs uh, uh, one and three quarters hours to drive to her grandmother's house. If it takes her five times as long to drive to her cousin's house, okay, it takes her five times as long to drive to her cousin's house. How long will it take to drive to her cousin's house? All right, so what do we need to know? Well, we need to find out uh, how many hours it takes Sulisa to drive to her cousin's house, okay? And what information are we going to use? Well, we know it takes uh, one and three quarters hours to drive to her grandma's house and then five times as long to drive to her cousin's house. Okay, so how are we going to use this information? We're going to draw a bar uh, model uh, diagram to compare the times it takes to travel from uh, to grandma's house and to the cousin's house. Okay, so let's go ahead and start solving the problem here. So it said five times as many. So here's grandma, uh, an hour and three quarters, so one and three quarters of an hour. Okay, and the cousins are five times as that. And then this H right here is going to represent the number of hours it's going to take to drive to her cousin's house right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and start solving the problem. We're going to go ahead and multiply five, because there's five of these, five times one and three-fourths. Now I'm going to change this uh, into a, a fraction, this mixed number into a fraction. So four times one is four, and then four plus three is seven, so this becomes seven-fourths. So I'm just going to change that to seven-fourths. Now I'm going to go ahead and multiply. Five times seven is thirty-five. So it's now going to be 35 fourths, and then I'm going to go ahead and divide. Uh, 4 goes into 35 8 times. 4 times 8 is 32, so there's 3 left over. So this becomes 8 and 3 fourths right here. Okay? So let's go ahead and answer the question. It, it will take Sulisa 8 and 3 quarters hours to drive to her cousin's house. And I said, whoo, that's a long time to be driving on the road. All right, and then, uh, so how, how did drawing the diagram help solve these problems? So you could say something like this. The number of groups helps see how much to multiply with, um, even though it says in the word problem five times on that one right there. You knew it was going to be multiplied by five times. But, but that's how the pictures show us on that, those bar model pictures. And if you ever run into uh, mixed numbers like this, you guys, five and two-fourths, or seven and three six, or six and five tenths. If these ended up being your answers, just recognize that these uh, fraction parts of the mixed numbers, they can be reduced. Can you see two is half of four, three is half of six, five is half of, of 10? So all these would be reduced to with uh, one half. So it would be five and a half, seven and a half, and 10 and a half, okay? All right, and so uh, if you find in these lessons are helpful and you uh, and you're watching these at home and you have a YouTube account, go ahead and, and just if you would please click like and and subscribe if you think that would help and it just tells you when I upload new videos. Okay, that would mean a lot to me. Take care, everybody.